USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Iran is claiming authorities there have arrested 17 CIA spies. The state media report claims the spies had been recruited to provide info on the Islamic Republic's nuclear and military sites. Nationalities of the accused not immediately clear, but some of them have already reportedly been sentenced to death. The CIA has not yet commented on this report. The National Weather Service says there's good news for those who've been suffering through a big heat wave. It's finally ending. Here's forecaster Bob Orovec. Still going to be slightly above average across the eastern United States with some low 90 degree temperatures. But as we go on into Tuesday and Wednesday, the cold front will be sweeping offshore. Temperatures are actually going to be below average across a good part of the central to eastern United States. In some areas, temperatures are going to be 20 degrees cooler by Tuesday than they were over the weekend. And this is USA Radio News. Former special counsel Robert Mueller will appear before the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees on Capitol Hill on Wednesday. The head of one of those committees says, however, it will be a big waste of time if Republicans try to question Mueller about FBI misconduct. It's been very clear that the Trump investigation was not predicated on the so-called uh, dossier that they're talking about. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the, with the FISA application. Democratic Congressman Jerry Nadler saying on Fox News Sunday what the American people want to find out about is the conduct of President Trump. The late musician Prince's Estates won a multi-million dollar legal fight with a record label that bootlegged the late artist's music. TMZ is saying that iRecords has been ordered to pay the estate seven million bucks in reparations and take down 18 Prince compilations released since his death more than three years ago. Find us online anytime. We're at usaradio.com. A data breach that exposed the information of 150 million Americans is now going to cost Equifax about $700 million to settle. The credit reporting firm is nearing a deal to settle a number of state and federal investigations stemming from that 2017 data breach. The amount the company eventually pays will be determined by the number of consumer complaints. A deputy police commissioner now has first-hand experience with one of his city's biggest problems. A day after Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison released plans to reduce violent crime, Deputy Commissioner Daniel Murphy and his wife were robbed at gunpoint Friday night by a pair of teens near Patterson Park in the city. A purse, wallet, cash, and cell phones taken in that holdup. No one was injured. Murphy, again, the deputy commissioner of the Compliance Bureau, which oversees consent decree compliance in Baltimore. And pop star Justin Bieber's in favor of President Trump's efforts in one arena, but he's urging more help in another. Bieber praising the president for lobbying to try to get rapper ASAP Rocky out of jail in Sweden. But Bieber finished a tweet with, can you also let those kids out of cages? Trump has not responded to Bieber, who said over the weekend he had spoken, uh, the president, though, said he had spoken to Sweden's prime minister regarding Rocky's case. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.